highlights Mantra S as the country's first tracked unmanned ground vehicle developed for unmanned. Surveillance missions Mantra M is for detecting mines Mantra M is for operation in areas where there is a nuclear radiation or bioweapon risk defense research and development organization. DRDO has developed an unmanned, remotely operated tank which has three variants, surveillance, mine detection and reconnaissance in areas with nuclear and bio threats. It is called Mantra, though developed and tested for the Army by Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment. In Avadi, paramilitary has expressed interest to use them hit Naxal hit areas. That will require a few modifications. The two remotely operated vehicles designed like an armored tank were on display at an exhibition, Science for Soldiers, organized by DRDO as a tribute to former President APJ Abdul Kalam at CVRDE in Avadi, Montreas is the country's first tracked unmanned ground vehicle developed for unmanned surveillance missions while Mantra M is for detecting mines and Mantra N is for operation in areas where there is a nuclear radiation or bioweapon risk. The vehicle has been tested and validated at Mahajan Field Firing Range in Rajasthan under dusty desert conditions where temperatures touched 52 C Army comfortably teleoperated the vehicle. It has surveillance radar and integrated camera along with laser range finder which can be used to spy on ground target 15 kilometers away. Maybe a crawling men or heavy vehicles. The exhibition also showcased CCPT vehicle which is a remote command center from a helmet mounted night vision to nano driven thermal and electromagnetic protection and laser weapons, DRDO showcased hundreds of products in an exhibition aimed at boosting the confidence of its employees and to change a negative perception towards the organization in the government at Heavy Vehicles Factory. Besides Heavy Vehicles, DRDO Labs also showcased a few inventions like a handheld wall penetration radar which if placed on a wall will project on a screen the presence of people inside a building and also a nano-based electromagnetic shield which protects combat systems from electromagnetic attack and also a GSM monitoring system which helps to listen in on encrypted calls of mobile phones. DRDO Chairman S. Christopher said the products displayed would convey the technical competence of the organization to the soldiers and the society. He also said DRDO was working on installing a WAC airborne early warning and control system on an A330 aircraft. The system is now perfected for use on a smaller Embraer plane. The exhibition will be open to the public on Sunday. Chennai DRDO is looking for exporting version 1 or 2 of some weapon systems which become redundant for the Army because they have acquired newer versions, said its Chairman S. Christopher on Friday.